Hello everyone, Mike Stuchina, Master Herbalist here with Z Natural Foods. And today's topic of discussion is going to be several, actually I'm going to talk about several uh, things today. The first is I'm going to talk about um, how we define what a real food is versus a fake food. And then in relationship to that, I'm going to discuss the idea of why it is we don't have a healthy relationship with food and what factors play the biggest role in us not having that healthy, that healthy relationship to food. So let's begin. In order to understand our relationship to food, we first need to understand what real food is. The objective of real food plain and simple without making this overly complicated or overly scientific is the understanding that foods objective the objective of why we eat food is to nourish our bodies we nourish our bodies so we can achieve what we want to achieve which is to thrive not just live but to thrive in the world that we live in it's also to give our body the essential things that it's going to need, whether it be phytonutrients or specific constituents found in both animal and plant foods, in order to help us to be able to adapt to our surroundings, to be able to deal with the stresses of our everyday life, things that we have control over and things that we might not necessarily have control over, which is more environmental. Okay, so that's a general understanding of what real wholesome foods do. Now, of course, there are many different wholesome foods. For example, on the animal end, we're talking about grass-fed beef. Um, whole eggs are just two examples of what nourishing whole foods are on the, on the side of animal foods. Then you have plant foods, which of course you have, a, or and excuse me, even on the animal food side, I apologize, I don't want to forget the real winner is whey protein concentrate from grass-fed cows or grass-fed goat, okay? Then of course you have on the other end of the spectrum, the the plant foods, which are things like chia seeds, which is a superstar. You have cacao, which is a real superstar when it comes to a wholesome nourishing food and then of course coconut milk or coconut milk powder which is again nourishing and wholesome to the body now when I say nourishing and wholesome what I mean by that is that if you were to eat this food as an individual entity it would sustain your body and it would make you feel good for hours on end no food that you eat should ever make you feel tired, run down, or worn out, okay? That's important to understand because if it does, then there's a chance that that food that you're eating is not truly wholesome and nourishing. There are some exceptions to that rule, but that's just overall a general rule of thumb. So with that said, <clears throat> I'm going to now transition into the understanding of why we've lost this specific relationship this wonderful nourishing relationship to food. The biggest reason is because of our stress levels. We as a society live in this chronic sympathetic nervous system of fight and flight. And what fight and flight really does is, is that it takes blood from the entire body and it sort of brings it to areas that allow us to be able to deal with what may be a more perceived threat to us. Okay, true fight and flight means that we're, we're, we're dealing with a, with a threat right in front of us. And what it does is it gives us the strength by bringing the blood to the heart and to the extremities so we can deal with it. We can either fight what's in front of us or we can get the hell out of there before it begins to destroy us or kill us or hurt us. And with that said, it's important to understand that that blood that was once in the digestive system to allow us to digest and absorb those foods and be able to become nourished is no longer there. So because of those reasons alone, we fight or flight, or I should say a chronic state of fight or flight, 
what that's doing is is that that's not allowing us to think clearly it's it's making us think in this very get it done kind of a scenario and when you think like that where you have to get it done and get out of there as soon as possible chances are what's going to happen is is that you're going to reach for something and you're going to try and give your body what it needs to survive and not to thrive and that's where the real difference is and that's exactly why we go to these fake foods or these foods that are not going to nourish our body because we want the quick fix the sugars the caffeine the things like that that are going to make us get through that time of stress and make us feel good because let's be honest we are creatures who constantly want to feel good and there's nothing wrong with it it's just how we're attempting to do that is becoming a real problem Okay, so with that said, now we have this scenario where we're grabbing this food or we're grabbing this, this substance to make us feel good, to make us feel better, fast, but it's not giving us the nourishment we need because we're not in that phase of rest and digest in order to be able to digest and have that beautiful relationship with food. Okay, guys, so... I hope that this has helped to sort of clear up the understanding of why we're in this chronic state of stress and why we have lost this healthy relationship with real food. Mike Stuccino, Z Natural Foods, I'll see you soon.